How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of Glass House up in this piece in the form of their deep seated O221. It's a tart fruit pale ale. Black currant would be the fruit in here. Um, these guys are from, excuse me, Birmingham, England. This cans comes courtesy of my boy Adam from Mercy Beers. Go check him out. Doesn't do like a bunch of really videos on beer on YouTube, but he's a bunch of live streams. Super awesome guy. He sent this off, and this is a 4.7% fruit pale ale. Kind of in the mood for one of those right now. It is by far and away. Look at that beer coming out of there. I don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of bursting itself. I should have a can. I have a camera up here. I never use it. it would have been perfect for this beer. Anyway, I don't know why I have it. I run it all the time. I never use it in any kind of editing because I just don't do that shit. But yeah. Anyway, man, look at that strawberry quick head. Label wise, fantastic. This uh. That's a great label. I know that doesn't make any sense, but it's got such great texture to it. Logoing, I dig it. Plain, simple, to the point. Uh, whoa, that almost fell. Jeez. Um, and uh, I mean, it looks like a fruited beer. It looks like a black currant beer on the bottom, but that head has a strawberry quick thing going on. So, kind of a poopy porn my sin, my end of things. But at the same time, I think it is that kind of carbonated. Maybe it kind of overcarbed slightly from the fruit edition, but it's a cool looking beer. Ooh, it's kind of bubbling up. Man, damn you, camera. Anyway, let's get nuts. Is it a pale ale? Maybe. Sure. Is it a black currant beer? Yes. Not overly aggressive. It smells like a... Sl uh, 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 I was going to say slightly. That's not the right word. Purposely fruited low ABV beer. The black currants come through. Nothing too over the top. Not overly fruity, but it's definitely there. And outside of that, I really don't get much else. Wouldn't expect much sub 5% fruit beer. The fruit is the star of the show here. That's what I'm getting. So we're just going to dump right, dump, jump right into the taste. Cheers. It is tart. Very tart, especially for its ABV level, but not like a tart in a way that it's like unpleasant. Very fruit forward. Um, you could tell me this is 19 different styles of beer. I think the pale ale portion of the show here gets lost. You tell me it's a lager. You tell me it's a coal. You tell me this is a pale ale. You tell me it's a cream ale. You tell me whatever. Fine. It's that. There's a bittering. Um, I actually think you're getting a little bit of that from the fruit, but you're also getting a little bit from the hops. There is a subtle sweetness to it. I think it's all driven from malt. Um, and there is a big tartness that is unmistakably <laughs> current. Uh, it's one of my favorite additions to beer and it's probably one of my favorite uh fruits to add to beer and i think this is a nice showcase of black currant here the black currant is bigger than the beer to the point where the beer is there but it's definitely kind of more like 70 30 70 percent current 30 percent beer i don't hate that um i would like the beer to show up a little bit more but since current is one of my favorite things when it comes to an actual drink i'm down with it that tartness you get from that fruit is so organic and so real and so not sweet i know you're like it's tart asshole it's not supposed to be sweet and that's where i think this is kind of like i think this beer is better than what i want it to be in the sense that i think if you make this a little bit too sweet it becomes a little bit too much jolly ranchery um you know if you bring a bigger beer into the fold i think it ends up being you know, kind of like a new, Bel not new Belgium, the um, new Glarus kind of Belgian ready thing where you bring a little bit too much sweetness and you have an electric kind of beer where you have that sharp sweetness and that tartness kind of bouncing off of each other. So to do the reserve thing here and let that black current kind of play its role, well, the beer is still there, but play that role and not bring the sweetness into, into play here, I think is a smart move. Like I said, I personally would go to the other direction, but I'm glad they did this because I think every step I take of this beer, I get a little bit more kind of <sighs> smitten with it. Tasty. Drinkable, fruit forward, beer's still there. Refreshing. Refreshing is the name of the game here. Refreshing. It is a scorcher of all scorchers today. Uh, we're in the mid-90s. Um, we've had days like this before, but this is the first one we had this year. 
And I was out all day, actually, outside um, doing stuff. So I am exhausted. Um, and I want I wanted something quenching. Thirst quenching deliciousness. And this is absolutely kicking that mark. Almost in a way that Gatorade does. It's almost like an electrolyte drink, but in the utmost organic way. I'm not trying to say this tastes like Gatorade. Uh, it's more like what you would make if you lived on Desert Island as a, as a kind of pick-me-up, kind of, um, you know, energizing kind of drink in a very fun way. I like this. I think it's fantastic. Is it blowing me away? Is it the best thing I've ever had in my life? No. But in this situation, it's what I need, not what I want. Um, I think sometimes that's a beautiful thing. As is such with this beer. Yeah. I'm a fan. Is it one of the better pale ales I've had as late? Yeah, sure, whatever. Is it one of the better fruit beers that I've had as of late? Let's flip the script, because that's really what it is. Yes. Is it Mount Rushmore status? No, but you can towards the top. Is it one of the better black currant beers that I've had as of late? Yes. Not probably Mount Rushmore status. It's, uh, again, one of my favorite flavors on Earth. Uh, and I think it showcases... This showcases it to the point where you still get the beer, so it's not just black currant on black currant on black currant, which a lot of people end up doing. I think the beer is still there, and that's very important. Value and availability on this? No idea. Adam, let me know what's what. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer. If you like black currant. If you like fruit beers. If you like thirst-quenching deliciousness, you will like this. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massif. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of a yeah, black currant-based beer right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.